One of the big puzzles of our uh, days is that we have a lot of uh, new technologies around, but uh, we don't see it in the productivity numbers. So the, the relationship between technology and, uh, and productivity does not only depend on the new discoveries, but also on the diffusion lags that uh, seem to be particularly low. Is it because uh, there is a polarization between firms? Some are doing very well and some are doing very badly. So it's a, basically the debate that we have about inequality among people. One other view is that uh, the nature of this technology is different uh, from uh, the fundamental discoveries that we had during the Industrial Revolution. Technological change will and is already affecting the financial sector. Unless they find a way to change their business model, they really need to innovate. And this is the big challenge. It's, it's a challenge for banks, it's a challenge for accounting firms, it's a challenge for central banks as well. So this will be the, the big issues of the next decades for the financial sector. The question uh, Oh, which is more a fundamental economic question, is whether we are moving to the world in which anybody can issue money. For being good money, it has to have a certain characteristic, it has to be accepted by everybody, it has to be a good store of value, a mean of exchange. But fundamentally, the money, the value of money, is uh, guaranteed by the credibility of the state. I don't believe uh, in a decentralized uh, monetary system in which uh, you know, each individual can actually create his own. I think this would uh, uh, make the world very unstable. And you know, there are lots of uh, issues about that. So I, I think that the cryptocurrencies, this kind of technology will be used uh, for payment system, but I believe that uh, you know the issue of, ma of money will be remain as a monopoly of the of, uh, of the central bank.